hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today it is boxing day it's the day after christmas in england we call that boxing day i think because they would like box everything up in preparation for the new year is that right i'm not sure i think so anyway today the sales start and i've somehow managed to convince myself and alan that we should go look in the sales there are a few bits that i've had my eye on recently if they pop up in the sale i might treat myself and i'll show you guys some good deals that come up in sales as well it's going to be mayhem busyness so lots of deep breaths will be needing to happen but should be a fun day we'll pop around london a bit and you guys can see what we get up to it might be that the key to sale shopping is having an early start i mean that's common sense i think but literally there's hardly anyone here it's going to get a lot busier as we get further into central and further along the day but this is a good start this is a good start so i think we're just gonna look in harvey nichols see what's around but i want to actually check harrods because there's an acne studios hat i really really like it's like a mustardy orange yellow color i hope that's on sale because i will definitely be picking that up okay we're in menswear in um Harvey Nichols, literally there's no one here. But it is early, so I thought I'd show you my outfit quickly. I've got my acne scarf on, just thrown on really casual. I've got like this, oh, you can see my bra. <laughs> it's kind of sheer. I've got like a really light colored polo neck, which I've tucked into my high-waisted straight leg jeans from Topshop. Then I've just got my Common Projects and my Burberry coat. I think this looks really cool. I have to turn you guys this way. Yeah, I like this a lot. And I've got no handbag, because I can't decide what handbag goes with this coat. And I kind of like being hands-free lately. Let me turn you guys back this way. <laughs> I kind of like being hands-free lately. Um, I think I need to reevaluate my handbags for next year, because I haven't really been using them, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. This is new season acne men's, so it's not on sale, but I friggin' love this. We'll have to see if this comes out in spring sale for Alan, because I think this would look great on him. I love these kind of like brighter green but still matching buttons as well. Alan's trying on a Raph Simmons shirt. It's actually this one, which looks so cool. It's so oversized, love it. I'll try it as well. Try both. So we've got some shirt dilemmas. This is Dries van Noten. And Alan's looking for a big shirt, but something he can wear over a jumper as well. We think the Raph one is more to wear like as an extra layer sorry yeah this is definitely more of like a thick layer you could put over things that's a thinner shirt so whilst alan's trying on his clothes i thought i would just mention i'm being sent messages on instagram asking if i'm going to do a what i got for christmas video this year i'm not going to do that but i am going to tell you what i got for christmas and you'll understand why i'm not going to do a video because it's a bit pointless but i got a really snazzy toothbrush which i'm really really excited about I do think that shows that I'm aging to be so excited about a toothbrush, but it is really cool. And I also got a little notebook so that I can write five things I'm grateful for each day in. I'm going to try and do that all year. I guess it's like a New Year's resolution, but I think consciously being grateful every day is really important and it can definitely help to lift your mood and help have a positive outlook on things. I got some underwear, which you always need, and I also got a, um, Alan says I'm talking too loud. <laughs> I also got a, like, cup that you can take to places to get hot drinks and stuff. Alan's trying on his shirt. It's good. So the Raph Simmons was way too big. Yeah. This is the Dries Van Loten one. It's actually quite big as well, quite big and oversized. oversized yeah. But Alan thinks that this will go down more in the sale. So you're yeah. going to wait, yeah? Today. Yeah. What's it at the moment? Like fifteen. Half price. Half price. You think it can go more? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Probably sixty seven. Sixty seven for two percent off. Yeah. That's really good. So we've come to Acne and Harrods. They only have a few bits on sale. These aren't on sale. These are new season. This is Acne Studios version of the Ugly Trainer, which is definitely on trend, and I think they are so cool. So definitely something to keep an eye out for these. And if you see any Ugly Trainers you love, get them because they are so on trend. So we just left Harrods, we didn't look around too much because I think it's very easy to be tempted by sales but you have to like think about 
would you be buying this if it wasn't on sale? I often think we can get trapped in that mindset like, oh, it's 50% off, I should buy it, where you wouldn't have bought it if it was that price to begin with. So you have to really think through your purchases. And as I said, if it's not something that we've been looking at already, we're just not gonna tempt ourselves too much to go there. I think that's a good tip, is just really think through, would you buy this if it wasn't on sale? There's the police cavalry. The Queen's Cavalry. They're like going back to their, what is it, the barracks, yeah. One handed, now it's recording. Yeah. Okay, so we're just going down Green Park to Buckingham Palace. I will show you Buckingham Palace as we approach it. It's so nice to cycle here. It's such a great route to cycle through Hyde Park into Green Park. Yep. A really easy way to get to, to like the Piccadilly, yeah. Definitely. And there's Buckingham Palace, it's huge. There it is. And we're on our Santander bikes, so if you're ever in London, highly recommend it. It's like two pounds and you get 30 minutes free. So if you want to cycle for more, you have to pay. There are different tariffs. <coughs> well, you can just dock your bike every you can, Yeah, you can dock your bike every half an hour. Look how nice, it's all empty. So this is the mall, right? Yeah, this is the mall. <coughs> and this will lead you to Trafalgar Square. Yeah, and the red floor is like a red carpet. Yeah, that's... Yeah, this is the red carpet for Buckingham Palace. The red concrete, the only place with red concrete in London. Do you think? Definitely. It's like it's a huge red carpet we do. Yeah. And there's St James's Park. Yeah. There. So that's St James's Park. So today in, in London, it's in the UK, it's Boxing Day. So I don't know if Boxing Day is kind of like a worldwide. And I think. Well, the day off after Christmas. Careful. This one can't cycle fucking straight. <laughs> so we're just heading into Olenstein, which is like our favourite place to come these days. It's just opposite, well, it's down the road from Dover Street Market. So super close. If you're in London, definitely come here. Get the cinnamon social. It's like a cinnamon Danish pastry and it is divine. This is the magic. Honestly, guys, this is one of the best pastries I've ever had in London. Completely similar to what they have in Copenhagen because Olenstein is a Danish brand, I believe, or a Danish company, and they have similar things there. So the lights and the adverts are all back on in Piccadilly Circus. These were off for a few months. It's cool to see them up and running again. It's starting to get much busier. We're going to head down Regent Street now to Liberty. I'm quite cold now. My Burberry coat is not keeping me warm enough. So we're now on Carnaby Street. We just popped into GH Bass. I want to get some classic black penny loafers. I tried them on and I love them, but we're just going to quickly pop to Dr. Martin's or Doc Martin's because they have a clunky loafer. I just want to try them on to see which one I prefer. They're so much. They're yeah, really cool. Like, I like how cool. high they got. Yeah, they're not like. Okay, I, we've got a dilemma guys. So I've just tried on the Adrian's, which are the Doc Martin loafers. Yeah. I couldn't film because it's manic in Doc Martin's right now, but I'll insert a picture of how they looked. Obviously they don't go with the sock I'm wearing today. I'd probably wear them with a black sock. I think that would be really cool, but I just know I really, really like them. So we're going back to GH Bass so I can try them on again. It's just hard comparing them when they're not next to each other. I have to go between shops and it's very busy, but I don't know what to do. Like, do I need a penny loafer and a chunky loafer? Probably not, but maybe I would have enough different outfit styles to make both work. But I need to think about this now because I have this new thing where I think very deeply about every purchase I make because otherwise you just end up with stuff that you're not really going to use. So, yeah. I don't know. The loafer dilemma continues. These Burberry wool vests are on sale. This is half price, this is £250 now. They only have it in an extra large, otherwise I literally would have bought it. So I think now I'm gonna check the Burberry website to see if they've got them on sale. Um, if not, maybe we'll have to go to Vista because I wanted one of these. It's a really cool vest, guys. I think having an oversized shirt under it would be cool. But I think I might need a small because I would want it to be kind of cropped and fitted with the shirt. I mean, you can definitely wear this kind of vest um, oversized with a shirt under it. But I think having it fitted would be nice. Maybe even a medium actually would be better. But that's so cool. 
I love that. Really happy to see that's on sale. I'm going to keep an eye out and see if it actually gets reduced more. Some crazy stuff's gone down, guys. We actually left Liberty, went to leave to go home, went past Burberry, decided to go in there, checked out these vests again, and we ended up coming back to Liberty because these like Burberry vests are not on sale in Burberry, but here they're half price. I'm trying on this one at the moment, which is an extra large, which I really, really like, but we also have a medium to try on. I think it quite looks quite cool with the polo neck, but with a shirt and mini skirt with tights and those loafers. This is the other thing, is thinking about how I'm going to style this is making me think I should get the penny loafers in GH Bass because I would style them completely different to the um, Doc Martin ones. But like for work and things I would wear now, I think I could get the penny loafers, so I might get those. That's an update on those. And then for this, like styling this with a white shirt tucked into a mini skirt, tights and penny loafers, I think that would be so cool. I'm loving it. Alan's trying it on as well because we're going to share it if we get it. Okay guys, so this is Alan with the XL on. You can see it looks cool. So now we're actually leaning towards this because it means we could share it better than the medium. And I like how it's wide on my shoulders, but then on Alan it's like nice and fitted. Looks so cool. This is also his new shirt. He did get the yeah. shirt in the end because uh, we ended up getting an extra 10% off because it had a little mark on it. Yeah. So it was a good deal. 60%. Yeah, really good. Oh my god, I love it. We well, have to get it. 10, yeah? yeah, it's just cool for everything, Alan. I love it. It's like so grandpa style, but then it's just no oh my god, I love it. These are this is one of my favourite pieces from the runway collection that we saw in September from Burberry. So to have a piece go 50% off, like this is a long-term investment winter piece. What do you think? I think it's cool. Yeah, I love it so much. I'm so excited. I'm so high right now. This is just an amazing purchase. So we're finally about to actually leave now after buying my loafers. They're just classic penny loafers, guys, but I just felt like after thinking about it for a couple hours, I definitely think I can style them differently to the Doc Martens. Still get the Doc Martens later on and have a different look for both. So I'm really glad I thought those through. And yeah, it's just so nice to see these angels sparkling. This might be the last time I see them this year because I don't plan on coming back this area over the next few weeks. It's just going to get busier and busier. But it is so beautiful, especially at night. If you're in London this season, definitely come and see the angels on Regent Street. They're my favourite. Okay, so I'm going to end the vlog here, guys. I hope you enjoyed coming around the sales with us today. We've covered a lot of ground. And what I'm going to do is, I've actually seen some bits, some really great bits in the sale lately. Um, like even on And Other Stories, that red jacket I wore all summer is now half price, which is amazing. So in the description box, I'll link some of my favourite finds from the sale. There's also like acne scarves on sale, so I'll put some links for that below for you guys as well. Some really good things. We didn't come across the hat I wanted, but I don't know. If acne, like official acne sale starts on the website tomorrow, so I'll have a look on my website then. But yeah, I'm happy with my purchases. Definitely thought through them, used my gut to tell if I really loved them enough and things like that. So it was a really good shopping day. We had a great time. This is like the longest outro ever now. So I will love you and leave you and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, also guys, if there are any video requests you want, let me know in the comments below because I'm starting to make a list for the new year. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Do you want to say bye, Alan? Yeah. Bye. bye.